Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's the 2nd of November. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Go Markets here. As we approach the midpoint of the Asian session today, let's have a look at what's going on across the news. Of course, overnight, we saw US equities up across the board. About a three to one advances versus decliners, which is really positive. The hope is that the Fed may be done for the year with, with its rate hikes. Another pause last night with still relatively hawkish language, but one that didn't suggest that they were going to take action in the December meeting. Uh, we saw US dollar and bond yields drop. Middle East escalation remains a concern. We've got big earnings and big data coming over the next couple of days. So it's by no means a completely risk on situation. Despite that rally we've seen in equities and commodities, US futures are higher as are European futures pointing to a positive open this afternoon. Asian markets are following that positive US lead. The ASX is up around 1.3%. The VIX pulled back from near six-month highs to pull below the 200 EMA, which suggests that market calming to some degree. Despite that US dollar weakness that we've already referenced, gold remains below the 2,000 key psychological level, although it is up slightly in Asia today. And it wouldn't surprise me to see it test once again. Copper tested the top of a short-term range and, it, and is at one-month highs and all bounced off the support that it tested earlier in the week. Bitcoin is through the technically important 35,000 level this morning. Be worthwhile keeping an eye on where that goes this afternoon. Looking very bullish once again. Could move up to 40 in the medium term. Of course, earnings Middle East conflict are all in focus. But on top of that, we've got some data. We've got the Swiss inflation number. We've got the BOE rate decision later on. And then German PMI and US jobs due. Eyes are also, of course, on that non-farm payrolls number tomorrow. If that number's too hot, it might upset markets a little bit and just in case it encourages the Fed to take action. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, in the FX world, we're keeping an eye on the Canadian dollar yen. Uh, we are seeing weakness in the Canadian dollar over the last couple of days. and We're seeing continuation of that this morning. We've moved through this 108.63 and it was a fairly straight move up when we were last in between these two pivot points. This level at around 108.34 could be the cap on this move for right now. So around about a 30 pip move, possibly on the cards. But don't be surprised to see it push through further if we get some significant yen buying. On the ASX, plenty to choose from today. We are going to plant our flag in IEL. You can see there it's pushing back up to this key 23 level. We form this long term technical double bottom formation with a potential move up to around about this 200 EMA mark at 24.75. That would represent a very healthy 6.6% increase on any breach of $23. Worthwhile being patient, of course. And we are still deeming this market medium risk at this stage. So tempting though it is to uh, get very excited about a rally, you should exercise some caution still, we suspect. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.